Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have discussed how to use SQLite as an API data file format for transferring data between processes, applications, multi-systems, and multi-languages. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to use SQLite as a container object. The container is a holder object that stores a collection of other objects. The commonly used container will be array, vector, and map set. In this short video, we are going to make an example how to use in SQLite build integer vector containers. Here on the Linux, we create a program header file called SQLite class where it defines the object class of our container. And this is the SQLite underscore class dot CPP will be the implementation container class. And this is our simple API called SQLite underscore vector dot CPP. So first we look at our header file. We create a namespace called SQLite. And in this namespace, we create a structure called a result set. In this result set, we have an integer called a number of rows and the number of column array for the result and the chair pointer for the error message. This will be used for the return result set for using SQLite 3 gate table functions. Then we build our simple integer SQLite container vector class this class, we have one simple basic constructor. In this short video, we only build three simple basic method. One is called a pushback, where we insert a value into our container. And in race, where we erase the elements from our container. Add method, where we return the value of n's element in our containers. And we have built another method called exec underscore sql, which execute sql statement. In this method, we want to pass the sql var class. And in our class, we have an instantialized pointer, sqlite 3 database connection object. We have two simple names, it's a table name and database name. And we have a callback function. This function will be invoked from the sqlite 3 exec function. Here is our implementations. First is our constructor. Our constructor will do first is assign the DB name and the table name. As the DB name and table name will be transparent from application. So we just hard code here. The database name called vector underscore DB. The table name called vector underscore TB. And the second, we are going to open a SQLite as an in-memory database. In order to open in-memory database, we have created an open flag. The open flag, the first one is open, I have read, write. Second is open, create. SQLite underscore open memory. Using this flag, database will be open as an in-memory database. To use an open flag to open database, we have to use SQLite 3 underscore open underscore v2. This function take uh, four parameters. First parameter will be the database name, and the second is the database, which is our private member. Third one is open flag, which is read, write, create, and in memory. Last one is used for the VFS. VFS in name of the object stand for the virtual file system. Since we are not using virtual file system, we put none. The third step, after we open the database, we have to create a table statement. So where we create a table, table name, one column value, type of this value will be the integer. Here we standardize the string stream and clear the string stream. We build a create a table. This is the table name and the value is the integer. And then we run this SQLite 3 underscore exec function to execute SQL statement. Our next method will be the pushback, which insert a value into vector. So first we do, we build an insert statement. Where we insert into table, column is a value, and the values is a val from method parameters. We standardize the string stream, string stream clear, and we build the insert into table name, 
and the value uh, values from this uh, method calling parameters. Then we run the SQLite3.exe function to execute our insert into statement. Next method we are going to implement is the erase, where we erase the number of elements. This method first will build delete statement where we delete from the table name where row ID equal index. This should be the index plus one as standard container index start from zero, but row ID start from one. So we create an integer called the table index, which equal our index plus one. Then we build our delete statement, delete from table, where row ID equal table index. Then we execute delete SQL statement using SQLite3 and SCORM.exec functions. For SQLite vector, there's one advantage is we can use a SQL statement to fetch the data from tables. So we create a method called exec SQL. In this method, we build a select statement. So the first part will be select the value from the table, and then we append our where class will be parameter of this method call. Then we use the function here is the SQLite three underscore get underscore table functions here. First, we have to instantialize the result set. It's declared as our header file, which has a column number, row number, result of array, and error message pointer. So first, we instantialize our result set, and we instantialize string stream. We build our select statement, where we select a value from the table name, this is the first half of our select statement, will be transparent from application, and we append our where class to this select statement, and the function we fetch will be the SQLite 3 underscore gate underscore tables. This function, first parameter is the database DB, and the second parameter will be the SQL statement SS to the C string. The third parameter will be the array of the, the result of the query, and the next one will be the number of rows returned, and the next one is the number of column returned, next one is the error message pointer. If fetch is OK, then we return our result set. Next one will be our add method. Same as the standard vector, add method will be returned. And this elements return type will be the integer. Of course, here we build a select statement will be the select value from table where a row ID equal index. Because the vector index started from zero, table row ID started from one. So we create a table index, which equal index plus one. Then we start a string stream and we build a select statement. Select value from table name where row ID equal table index. Then we run SQLite 3 underscore exec function. This function first is the database db, second is the SQL statement, and the third one is the callback function. This one is the first parameter of callback function, which we use pass parameter from outside to inside and from inside back to outside. Here we just allocate a memory, which is 100 byte memory set. We use an MIM copy string, which is called add and score method. When we invoke this callback function, pass parameter from outside to this callback function, and this one is error message. And in our callback function, this parameter will be passed as a void pointer of date. Because original we declare as a chair, so we casting date as a chair pointer called p date. So we can use a string compare p date, which is our data pass from outside. Then we memory set p date, reset this memory. Then use a memory copy, copy the argument v, which is the value we fetched from database to our pdate. And this pdate return back to add method. So we can just convert this callback rst to the integer. So then we have a destructor 
we close our database. So here is the application we using our vectors. Usage of our demo, SQLite vector, size, which how many elements we want to create in our vectors. So first uh, we declare a variable called vector underscore size will be from the argument one, we convert this to the integer, and then we have another argument where class. This is optional for uh, verify our SQLite vectors. First, uh, we want to build a vector with a random number. Set up the size of the random date, and we instantialize a vector. So we create a standard vector called my vector. We also can instantialize our SQLite vector. Class SQLite vector. We can make a loop. The vector size. Get a value from the random date. In order to easy to see, we just uh, create a random date between the zero to one hundred. And for standard vector, we are going to my push back. For our SQLite vector, so we can push back the SQLite vectors. We print out. First, we print a standard vector. Make a loop. We print the. Space. Finish the loop. We print the end of lines. This is the way we print for the standard vector, and we can use similar things for our SQLite vectors. We still make the same loop, but in this loop, we print out our SQLite vectors. So you can see our vector is exactly the same as we're using as the standard vectors. So our SQLite vector also have option can run the SQL statement. So we can get a var class from the command line and we have our string called var class. So, so if six it means that we have a where class from the command line. So what we do, we can just print out the SQL. We can create a SQLite result set. We call the IST equal this method, which will be pass our SQL class. And after we run this function, Data were fetched into this result set. So we can make a loop for here we use number of rules plus one because in our result set the return array will be number of rules plus one because the first element of this return set will be the column name. So we can make a loop from zero to a number of rules plus one. And we just uh, print out because std say out. We give a space and result of i. So finish loop, we just uh, print a um, condition. And this is uh, our special method which execute SQL statement of our particular SQLite vectors. And now we test the erase method. So if we try to erase the number fifth element from a vector, so if vector size greater than five, so we can erase five. We just print out SQL vector erase number five. Vector dot erase number five. After that, we copy this five line, we paste here, then we fetch all the element from our table, then print out. Here we just print, we indicate this is after 
that we can save our program. We compile our program. So now program got compiled. We run our program. So the usage will be numbers. So we give a number 15. So you can see for a standard vector and the SQLite vector, it's like the same, and this is all the random number we just created, assigned to the vector, you should push back. And after we erase the number 5, this is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, number 5, it will be 78. Here, you can see number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, number 5 is 66. So this is our erase method. And we can also add where class. You can see if we put a where's the value plus 30 for SQLite vector, we can easily use SQL statement to fetch greater than 30. So we can also easily to sort. So in this case, we making fetch and sort. Let's change 30 to 20. So now you can see SQLite vector, which is the value greater than 20, and we are also sort by descent. This is the biggest to smallest. And uh, we can also sort as, so we also can sort as ancient. Using SQL statement to fetch SQLite vector is the advantage compared to STL vectors. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks uh, to watch my video. Hopefully this is uh, useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.